This week's Honest Trailer is brought to you by D&D Beyond. D&D is for everyone. D&D Beyond makes it easy to play. Register for free at dndbeyond.com to start your adventure. The franchise that's been rebooted more times than Lieutenant Dangle has returned. New boot goofing. Oh! And after making a killing in theaters, one thing is for sure. People would rather get COVID than sign up for Peacock. Halloween Kills. You thrilled as the Strodes faced off against Michael Myers. Now, get ready to see what literally everyone else in town was up to that night. From Dr. Loomis's nurse, to the kid Lori used to babysit, to the kid Lori's friend used to babysit, to the kid that used to bully the kid that Lori used to babysit. All of Haddonfield will band together to reminisce about that five minutes of scream time they got 40 years ago. 40 years ago, a madman escaped from a mental hospital. He killed my daughter 40 years ago. He's infected my family with grief and fear for 40 years. Michael Myers has haunted this town for 40 years. 40 years ago when I was a kid, yep. you protected me. Michael Myers has returned extra crispy. He'll pick up right where he left off, mindlessly killing people, <laughs> then very mindfully arranging their bodies in an artful tableau. Hmm, it's missing a certain je ne sais quoi. Perhaps one more knife. Right there. And the only thing standing in his path is franchise stalwart Laurie Strode. No, she might as well be in a coma. Okay. Standing in the way of Mike is Allison Strode, the next in line to take over the franchise. No? She immediately proves she isn't worthy? <laughs> Do it! Okay. Standing in the way of Mike is Karen Strode, who finally realized her mom was right and became the badass she was raised to become. No? She's still trying to calm things down? What are you doing? Karen, get no, out of my no, way! That's not him! Wow, okay. Standing in the way of Mike are two gay pirates and an elderly couple with a drone. Cool. Cause this was clearly the middle part of a trilogy and this killer is craving some filler for Halloween. Do you know what happens to people who come into the Myers home without an invitation? We're not even scared. He stabbed his sister in the tits. You were impressed slash confused to learn Danny McBride helped write these reboots, but it takes someone like Kenny Powers to write characters this stupid. <laughs> As all of Haddonfield fights back on Halloween night in the dumbest ways possible, whether they're splitting into smaller and smaller groups. Lindsay, I Stay here. Go. Okay, so the key is we stick together. Now I'm going in alone. What? Falling for the same tricks they did 40 years ago. <laughs> Mistaking a Danny DeVito lookalike for Michael Myers, even though they all grew up with him and his face is on the news. It's not him. And showing up to a climactic beatdown in their PJs. Look, that guy brought a hockey stick. Who plays cricket in Haddonfield, Illinois? That girl brought a clothes iron. Where are all of your guns? I thought this was America. And you're just gonna leave him there? Not gonna chop him up into pieces or blow the body up like a beach whale? He's just gonna get up again. See, what did I just say? How drunk are you people? Prepare yourself for a film with a message. Are remorseless serial killers what we should be worried about? Or is forming a mob to stop them the real evil? And like the former, duh, moving on. So enjoy a muddled new installment that tries to strike a balance between the old school scares of the slasher genre, the self-aware comedy of the current era. Michael Myers is in the backseat, go look. Go look, go look. hell no. A little bit of John Wick. And social commentary usually reserved for Jordan Peele or an A24 film about a goat that stands for a miscarriage or whatever. It may not be perfect, but it's still a perfect example of a nostalgia-fueled sequel to a reboot made to erase bad sequels that itself was a reboot of the sequels it got rebooted to erase in the first place. And my nose is bleeding again. Great. Starring The Shove. Road Rage, a Karen, Ally McSqueal. I did my own research. Lonnie Jenkins. Now I'm going in alone. Officer involved rebooting. 
The Real Housewives of Haddonfield. Still hot? The Speed School of Hostage Negotiation. <laughs> Better Cameo Saul. And Hall of Wieners. <laughs> this is 40 years ago when Michael Myers killed my family. The actual coolest part of this movie? Realistic Donald Pleasance prosthetics. Wow, say that three times fast. Donald Pleasance prosthetics, Donald Pleasance prosthetics, Donald Pleasance prosthetics. Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, who is the most killingest killer who ever killed. We crunch the numbers to see who's got the highest body count, who's let the most prey slip away, and who's been murked by the most babysitters across their slashing career. Click the thumbnail on the right to find out who wins. This week's Honest Trailer is brought to you by D&D Beyond. D&D is for everyone. D&D Beyond makes it easy to play. Register for free at dndbeyond.com to start your adventure. Babushka. By the power of Grayskull, I 